you so much for your service. You're very Thank welcome, you. sir. Tell me, are you going overseas soon? Uh, yes, sir. In about two years, we'll be going to Afghanistan. Afghanistan? My, yes, my son was in on cancer. Please excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Is, is the... uh, may I have your name, please? Carlos and, and Margarita Gutierrez. Yes, this is the place for the ceremony, Mr. and Mrs. Gutierrez. I'm Lieutenant Turner. Please, come in and make yourself comfortable. Vamos, corazón. We've got coffee and donuts on the table right over there. We're still waiting for two more families. When they arrive, my commanding officer, Major Reynolds, will explain everything to you about your daughter's rights and benefits. Do you have any questions? No, no. Thank you. I'm very sorry for your loss. Dame la cartera, No, no. Está Está bien. Está todo bien. Sí, sí, gracias. Es, es que mi esposa está muy cansada. Entiendo, sí. Ingo es papá. These times are hard. It is difficult to know what to say. Papá, what are we doing here? This is wrong. Cállese, mija. I will not be quiet, papá. What these people are doing to us is wrong. They send Diego to some place across the world to fight? For what? Papa, we are not even citizens. And when we die, all we get is a piece of paper? This is wrong. Nayeli, basta, ya. Está todo bien? Mi hija está muy alterada por la muerte de su hermano. Diego partió con la primera división que salió hacia Irak. Lo hirieron dos veces y las dos veces regresó al campo de batalla. Lo mató un fanático suicida en Bagdad. A true hero. A true waste. Cállese. If my brother hadn't gone over there, he would have been a citizen by now. He had taken his citizenship test, and the only thing left for him to do was to take his oath in formal ceremony. But before he could do that, he ships out. He ships out and dies. For what? So he could be a citizen? He was going to be a citizen anyway. This was all for nothing. Have some respect for your brother. Ah, the young. Everything is important and immediate. How is your wife? She has been like this ever since our daughter left for Iraq. She was our only child. We were very devoted to her. We, she was going to go away to school, but then the war came and she volunteered. We even went to visit her at training camp. We were very worried when she volunteered, but she wanted to go so much. We prayed for the best. One month ago, we got the call that her unit had been ambushed and she had been killed. When my wife found out, she fainted and broke her hand. I will light the candle for her. May I ask you a question? Your daughter, she says something about becoming a citizen. What she mean by that? <clears throat> uh, if you are a non-citizen and a permanent resident, and you die in combat, you automatically become a U.S. citizen. 
That's what we're doing here, getting their citizenship papers. Maria told me if you fought, that it put you on some list for citizenship. Yeah. And because of a change in the law, you and your family can apply as well. You are not a citizen? No, I came here with my ex around 14 or 15 years ago. Daniel was five and Patrick was three. My ex couldn't get any work, so he went back. After 9-11, as soon as Daniel turned 18, he signed up. And then Patrick did the same thing. I don't understand why she signed up. My wife told her, begged her not to. She wanted to belong here, to be here. It was the fastest way. Where are you from? Guatemala. I, I have a small construction business. And my wife, she cleaned houses. We came to America about 17 years ago. I used to be a bodyguard in Colombia. But the bombs and the drug cartels, it was too dangerous. They were doing terrible things to the people. That's why I say to myself that I have to move to a different place. A better place. Better? Yeah. I'm proud of Daniel. I just don't know how I feel about him dying for a country that he didn't even belong to. Well, at least you have other children. We could not. She was our only child. I'm very sorry for your loss. And I don't mean to be rude. But that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. What difference does it make if you have one child or ten? You give all of your love to your children without, without playing favourites. Now, I am scared shitless for what is going to happen to my children equally. Shut up, all of you! Did you give life to your children for your own benefit? Well? You are right. They do not belong to us. They belong to society. Did society give birth to your children? Our children are born because they must be born. And when they are, they, they take our life with them. We belong to them. But they never belong to us. And when they are 18, they are just like we were at that age. We all love the music, cars, dating, and our country. They are no different. You must defend your home, your country. My grandson loved this country. And knowing that he was willing to die for America, and he wasn't even a citizen, makes me even prouder of him. When he went down to the recruiter, I went with him. I wanted to join too. But they said I was too old. We came here for the American dream. And we found it. I am proud of my grandson. I am proud that he could serve in the United States Army. I am proud that he died for this country. And I will proudly become an American citizen to honor him. You are so brave. For the entire time that Maria has been gone, I have tried to find a way to deal with my fear. I could not understand how they could let their children go to fight on some far-off land and perhaps never see them again. I never realized how brave all those parents were or how much love they have. You are all so brave.
Was his life worth all this? Baby. 